My name is Michael Conroy. I'm an artist, painter mainly, uh, but do do some sculpture. Uh, but an artist, I would say, most specifically. This particular showcase is, is is not my first. I've been doing this a little bit. Um, it's definitely one of the more unique ones because I have the opportunity to do it with no affiliation with uh, any galleries, so I can kind of push boundaries and really explore concepts that, that on my own that can mean something to me and really kind of like vet them out in an independent way.
show specifically the human inside is some, something that's a concept that has lived for a little bit and it was something that I was really starting to dig into exploring and seeing how I could do it. So, so the, the, the hands up image in sculpture has been some, a character, I guess, that has been I put, I created some years ago and it's really evolved over time into going from what its original conception was, was like specifically about police shooting and over the years it's become something. It's just as, as society has moved, this human inside concept has, and personally, personal revelations as well, but it's become this thing that gets applied to multiple components of life. Um, and, and it's been cool to see it grow with me. And it kind of comes down to this, this thing that is like to be seen or unseen as well. And I think we all, no matter where our background is, our demographic, our, our race, our ethnicity, it doesn't matter. We all like have an outside layer and something inside that sometimes it doesn't feel like is being seen by a loved one, society at large, your boss, your employer, and it can be a lonely feeling. And I think it's it's very, it, it's across the board, it runs across the board for a lot of things. So as, as the show was kind of going on and I was thinking about it, it was crystallizing as like a whole concept. Uh, and the art was speaking to it, and the sculpture piece was there. Uh, the, the, and then performance, which I had never done, came into my mind. Like, could I, could I do performance? Can I, like, and I don't know how to do that, right? I don't, I don't dance, I'm not a choreographer, I don't know how to do this, but uh, I had talked to someone who is, who is a dancer and started really like envisioning this like multi-tiered show that was addressing this topic from different creative vantage points, the stillness of painting, the, the slightly more physical nature of sculpture in space, and then performance, and that physical ended. And, and the more I thought about it, the, the, and then you're thinking of people here, how do they interpret it, and things like that. And the more I thought of it, I was thinking about, is there a way to actually have a show with multiple disciplines of art that have no end or beginning? It's, it, it, the show never transitions to one thing or the other. It's just a, a moving flow. And based on content, based on the physicality of not only sculpture, but performance, but also the physical space that you're in with other people, some strangers, some you know. And when these things take place, specifically the performance takes place, people actually have to shift and move their body in a space, and potentially in some sort of awkward way to find, you know, comfortability of how they view it. I kind of looked at it as, as you know, as far as art goes, like music's super digestible. We all know what to do with it. We, we take it in a way. Our paintings, for instance, is a little less demanding of someone. You can look at it silent. Sculpture seems to be a little, you know, less people might be sculpture enthusiasts. And then dance is less. So, to, and people react to them in different ways. And I was, I was intrigued by what people would react like with dancers close to their personal space and does it draw out an insecurity or an uncomfortability which to me goes back to that human inside concept of seeing people and breaking down judgments of how we look at someone based on where they're located or what job they do and the self-reflection that is required of that to, to start breaking down these judgments and these statements and usually that self-reflection is uncomfortable for us to do and so is there a way to actually create almost like a feeling of, of second guessing or uncomfortability within a space based on a particular topic? And can you actually, can that emotion of the viewers actually become a tangible part of the show? Like can they, can it be self-feeding? And I don't know the answer, but that was something that was super intriguing to see if that was a possibility and what and, and and if you can do that that creates an experience and from that experience do people actually take that with them in a slightly more tangible way and can actually infiltrate how they or i or we might look at the next situ situation we're in 
if it has a similar topic to what was experienced at a show or a concept. So that was um, that was that was super interesting and intriguing to see. So that that was that was that was the show. That's what the show was about. That's what the human inside kind of meant, and that that is the specific concept of nature of. Of this particular show. You know, I know. <laughs> thank you. I just have to thank, say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone in there, really quick. Uh, this is everyone just for showing up and showing love, but also uh, specifically the people that are involved in this. This was like like three months of work, uh, and I have to thank Don, uh, Kate, Hansi, Andrew. Uh, for making this happen, and really, uh, and Hansi, just to show, just spread flowers and show love, like Hansi, also a DJ, also a talented filmmaker, there's multiple artists in here, it's not just me. Uh, oh, you can't see us. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, That's Owen. Owen, no, 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 I can see you, I just got caught up for a second. <laughs> Owen and Divine for taking something and having the humility to explore this with me and take this thing that was in my brain and literally they put life into it. And that is fucking crazy. Uh, so thank you. You two, like, did some shit for me that is beyond. Uh, so take them damn masks off and let these motherfuckers see your face. <laughs> they're pinned, so right, they can't take right the face off. And in a few, you'll get a few. I got you. You'll see who they are. You'll I'm like, see who they are and what they do. <laughs> Follow them. Get everyone's information, not just mine. There are people in here that are talented and deserving of credit. So continue on. And make some noise and let this motherfucker come back. Woo!